Hey everybody, how are you? Good to see you, good to be with you. Today we're in the spirit of Halloween, All Hallows' Eve, and we're doing a little treat of apples, uh, Honeycrisp apples to be specific, They're a little bit sweeter, um, and full of vitamin C and polyphenols and all these good things for the body and antioxidants. Um, as you well know, apples are good for that, but uh, Honeycrisp are actually really nice for um, a lot of things for, for the body. Um, and then lime, of course, vitamin C. We have some fresh limes, uh, organic limes, and we have cinnamon powder. So very simple ingredients today. Three ingredients, very, very quick, um, but very powerful as well. It's really, really sweet. And the cool thing about this recipe is that you can um, really change the amount of um, how tangy you want it with the volume of, of lime that you put into it. So uh, I'll start with one, and then we'll add or take away from there as far as that goes. But we'll get into it a little bit more later. I love tangy. Yes, Lemia loves tangy. First of all, I just wanted to talk a little bit about apples. Um, all apples, even if they're organic or not, um, we buy organic apples just because we believe that our money uh, is like a vote. So we like to vote with our with our monies, um, and so we like to support organic practices. Now. Even if it's organic, there might be a little bit of wax sprayed on it, unless you're working with like a really, really local, you know, farmer or, or grower. Um, so in general, you want to wash your your fruit um, or peel the skin, but the skin has a lot of nutrients in it as well. So um, I actually like to take some baking soda. Uh, I like to take baking soda, and then uh, kind of give it a little a baking soda bath. Um, so my baking soda is kind of hard in here a little bit, but I'm going to just give it back up. Get it back out. So a little baking soda, a little bit of Dr. Bronner's uh, soap that we just have pre-mixed here. Oops, wrong one, but that's a lavender soap. I grabbed the wrong one, but uh, anyway, I've been to grab the Dr. Bronner's one. I'm just adding a little bit of water. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, a little bit of water, baking soda, some soap, and just kind of giving that, that wax a little bit of a rinse off here. I'll bring this back over. Um, just kind of giving a little, and then maybe a little bit more little brushing with the baking soda just to give it a little abrasiveness to that wax to get it off. Um, started doing this about three or four years ago and did a little bit more research about even if it's organic there's still practices that preserve it because sometimes uh, you may live in a place that doesn't have fresh apples available out of season or whatnot but you still want to have the enjoyment of an apple or you know the, the benefits of an apple. So we have this beautiful thing called Modern World where we ship things. But um, in order them, for them to preserve and, and not dry out or, or not go bad, um, you know, different techniques are used and putting wax, especially on apples, uh, has been used for many years. Um, so it's always nice just to give them a little rinse, a little scrub-a-dub, and then we're doing three apples today. So rinse and rinse. So usually we don't have a whole house system for our, uh, for our water yet. We just have a little drinking one. So I like to wash vegetables and fruit with, you know, the regular water, you know, for a little bit and then take the, the filtered water and then rinse that out a few times as well. So working with the, um, working with as clean a water as you can, right? Clean a water source as you can. Okay, cool. So with that, step out of the way and then also give your lime, your limes a little rinse too, depending on where you bought them from. Good deal. All right, so the, the trick here with the lime, or with the apple, excuse me, is that you want them, I like them kind of as thin as possible. So again, like last time we talked, make sure your fingers are kind of curled in and tucked in so you're not gonna cut your fingers. Um, and then always, you know, handle your blade with care. Um, but I like to do just real, as close, thin as I, as I can. So if you have an apple peeler, maybe you'd like to do that, but you know, a nice thin little apple crisp. Um, we, I have talked with people. I have, I don't have a dehydrator ourselves. We don't, we don't do the dehydrating things that much here. We do, you know, sometimes buy dehydrated foods, but, um, I have talked with people and this recipe can be thrown into the dehydrator. So you can take it from this as the raw form. And then you can, if you want to dehydrate it for the road or whatever, you can make, or for snacks throughout the week for your kids. Um, you can, you know, do this same technique and then put it in the dehydrator and then you'll have it for a little bit longer. Um, as far as shelf life goes, the we we make this quite a bit. We made some yesterday and kept it overnight. Usually like when you cut apples, especially with a metal knife, you'll get that oxidization, the browning of the apple that happens. Cool thing with using the cinnamon and the lime is that it kind of acts as a little bit of a preservative uh, in a way that it doesn't let the oxygen hit the skin and then that browning kind of stops and also the cinnamon is brown, 
so it kind of covers it up as well. But it's it's a really beautiful <laughs> thing. So you can keep them in like like whole chips if you like. If you have kids, you might want to cut it in half. You know, you would just cut the cut the pieces in half or in quarters, whatever you want to do for the the mouths you're trying to feed. Um, but you know, as far as like an adult snack or you know, kind of a a, a party favor if you will during the holidays, this is a really beautiful um, kind of you know just, just you know tray to put out. It's kind of like apple chips, sweet apple tart crisp chips. We we also use it for breakfast item. Yeah. When we're doing yeah. some catering. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a nice breakfast it's, item. It's a popular, easy, quick. Um, you know, it's. Again, so simple. You can, of course, add, um, you know, cardamom in there if you want. If you know you want to work with more heart health, apples are good for the heart. Um, so if you're working on heart stuff, cinnamon and cardamom would, wouldn't be a bad idea to add as far as the spices working together. Um, you know, and just exercising more and drinking more water and all those kind of good things as well. Um, so cool. So you just, you know, you want to fan it out and fan it, fan them out so they're not stuck together as well. That's kind of a thing and as we go again we'll kind of give it a massage with the lime juice and stuff so we'll get one more apple in here actually I'm gonna stop at two apples because that's about the size of our bowl if you want to go more than that you can go more than that and these are pretty big apples as well as far as apples go <clears throat> excuse me all right so I'm gonna cut lime just in half the squatty way <clears throat> and I get my press out here so we like to use our press saves my hands in the beginning so just one full, there we go. One full big squeeze there. Make sure you get some of that other stuff out. If the pulp, I, I like pulp. So if, if you like pulp, great. If you if you don't like pulp, you can, of course, filter it out from from here even more, um, into a cup, and you you can filter it out from there. But pulp, I like the pulp again. It's kind of that fiber, uh, energy as well. Good. Another source of amazing vitamin C. So you got the apple full of vitamin C. You got limes full of vitamin C, and full profile of antioxidants and uh, really anti-cancer fighters as well. A lot of research has been done both on lime and apple and also cinnamon for all these things. Um, and cinnamon especially is highly antiviral so that's why it was prized during the, the original you know days of the the spice route. So this is the, let's see, I'm going to do about two of these broken up. I'm going to start with one and then give it a mix. So that's about it. I would say a teaspoon, maybe a little bit more than a teaspoon, um, kind of a heaping teaspoon. And then I take the my fingers and like I said earlier, we're going to massage and just kind of get all the little parts of the cinnamon kind of spread out with all of the apple faces, if you will, now that we have these nice apple slices. Mm. Use the apple faces. Smells delicious. Mm. Say so we use our nose to find our partner and our food source as well, and then we use our eyes as well to, to see the colors so that we know that this particular thing is good for us or has this particular vitamin in it, like beta carotene, like orange, right? Also, apple has a lot of beta carotene in it as well, vitamin A. Apple is good stuff. So, spread out, everything looks evenly cinnamon, if you will. Um, so just kind of give it a little twist around and again you can let this set for a while from here you would put you know if you're going to do a dehydrator you could put these in you know just flat as you would working with dehydrator um, so yeah you just want to make sure that all the little parts are evenly distributed some places are going to have more cinnamon that's a lucky bite we call that um, some are going to be a little less cinnamon more lime so it's kind of a it's kind of a trick-or-treat within the, the batch as well because some are going to be more sweet, some are going to be more tart. But we really, really like this uh, this recipe. So this and is... It's a dessert good. for diabetics as well. Yeah, like apple's great, cinnamon's great for diabetic, lime is great for diabetic. So yeah. uh, it's really... It's a healthy dessert. Yeah, you know, it's, it's eating eating with food, uh, you know, to, to be thy medicine as opposed to be thy flavor, uh, you know, thing. And, and the good thing about, um, you know, working with plants and the plant-based diet is there's so many options. There's 80,000 edible plants that we know of and still more being discovered. And, and, you know, that's a good variety of plants that we get to choose from and a lot of spice, a lot of taste, a lot of flavors. Um, so yeah, this is the, the beautiful end of the
end of the recipe here. So you can see that it's evenly distri distributed. And if again, if you want to add more lime, please feel free. Try it. I'm going to actually have, let me try a little bite here. Here's a little lemmy hand. Mm. Try a bite too. Lime. This is the kind of sweetness and tartness that doesn't make you like cringe. No. It's like... In no. other words, it's a good balance. Yeah. But some people like it really, really tart. Uh -huh. Then you would add the other yeah. half of lime. So this apple, the, the honey crisp mm. is really sweet. It was kind of made that way or, or it has come about that way. Excuse me for eating and talking. It has come about that way. So it's really nice to work with the lime. Of course, all the apples are... are Inherently a little sweet, except for the Granny Smiths and some of the other tartar varieties. But the honey crisp goes really well with that lime, and the cinnamon in there just really gives it a, a nice holiday kind of. You just you know that it's good for you. <laughs> it's a good for you kind of kind of bite. So yeah, and of course you could always add um, you know anything you want as far as spices. You know the the cardamom we talked about earlier. Um, I'm even in my head thinking about maybe putting some maca spice in there. You know some maca powder. Just to kind of like give it, it simple. Yeah, Lemmy likes it simple, and I'm, I'm always like, ooh, what else could be added to that? <laughs> um, so, you know, keep it simple is always a good uh, way to be in life and also live life a little adventurously. So we, we try to do a little bit of a balance, and um, yeah, so this is what the end product looks like again. Uh, I made this just a couple days ago, or yesterday actually. I made it a, a small batch yesterday and put it in the fridge overnight, ate it this morning. It was awesome, amazing. I like know, it cool, too. Yeah, it was cool and crisp, so yeah. that's another idea, too, is if you're going to serve it out for a party, you know, make it earlier in the day, put it in the fridge, and then you can have it out at night so that towards the end of the party, it's not like you're eating warm apples, you know. Um, it's kind of a nice nice way to have, have a crisp, cool treat uh, in this holiday season, in this fall time, I should say. How do you like them apples? How do you like them apples, <laughs> huh, kids? All right, so appreciate y'all for being here, and, yeah, so grateful for you. And yay, <laughs> we'll end the recording, I think. Yes, yeah. thank you. Love you all. Peace, and hope to uh, connect more and more in the future.